Hey yo, welcome back to another video. Today we have a quick editing tutorial on how I made this dark saber effect. I've seen a few different tutorials or ways to put the effect in there, but just kind of using the same lightsaber effect that I normally do, I kind of tweaked it a little bit and I kind of like it. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but I did have a few people request a tutorial on how I did it. So here's a quick breakdown of how I edited my dark saber. So first, this is the saber that I made for the shot already, but we're gonna go ahead and make another one from scratch. With a regular lightsaber, I usually just paint the white line because it's just a straight line, not really a shape to it. But for the dark saber, because it does have a shape, it's more of like an actual blade or sword, I'm gonna draw it using the lasso tool, and then I'm gonna fill it with black. I feel like I've seen a few different designs for the saber as far as like how it actually looks, the shape of it. But for the most part, I feel like this is like close to it, but I mean, you can mess around with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is all art. Like you're creating, you know, your own sense of style and all that. So as long as people understand it's the dark saber, that's what matters, right? So on my original one, I feel like it came out a little sharp. So what I'm doing here is going to be erasing a little bit of the tip. Once again, this is personal preference and I'm kind of experimenting at the same time. So all of that was done on one layer. I had made a new layer and then I drew the saber filled with black. That's one layer. So now we're gonna copy that one layer six times. So it'll be a total of seven layers. And this is the same process of how I do my regular sabers. It's going to be the top one. So the seventh layer is gonna be, you're going to add a Gaussian blur. So go to filter Gaussian blur and you're gonna set it to 200. Then you're gonna to go to the next one below. You're gonna set it to 100 then below that 50 and then below that 40 and then below that 20 and then 10 and then for the very bottom layer I do four we're going to merge the top five layers and then we're gonna bring that file below the other two layers then on that layer we're going to go to image hue saturation and we're going to change it from black to white so this is going to give us the glow on the outside and so you can see here i just kind of messed with the lightness and brought it all the way up and that looked good to me i wasn't sure at first but i feel like i really like the way it looks so you can see it, it's already there like that's pretty much it. I mean, you could stop there if you wanted to, but you know, it has like some little lightning bolts in there. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of those inner effects. We're going to make a new layer on top of everything. And then we're gonna clip that to the layer underneath, which is one of the black layers. So any effects you add are just going to be on to the black so I can paint all over zigzags across the whole image but it's only going to show up on the black parts because it's clipped to that so I do have some lightning brushes that I downloaded from the internet I'm sure you can find some but I also have ways you can kind of draw some too but these lightning ones work perfectly so I'm just I have a white color selected and I'm just kind of choosing some different uh, bolts that I have, changing the size, changing the rotation, and kind of just painting them on there just to kind of give it, you know, that, that effect that it has. I think technically it's not lightning bolts on the saber when you look at a lot of images, but I feel like it kind of, it captures what it's supposed to look like. So that's why I like the lightning bolts. And as a finishing touch for those lightning bolts, I do add a Gaussian blur just so it's not as sharp and it kind of blends in better. I did also mess with 
the white layer, that merged one that we had made. I made a duplicate of it, so it kind of makes that white pop just a little more. And one extra effect too, is I'm adding this little glow lens flare, soft white brush at the edge or the base of the saber, just to show like that's where it's emitting from. And so once again, this is clipped to the layer underneath, which is just the black. So that's the only thing that it's gonna be posted on. So I kind of experiment with different sizes. I usually use the filter with render and pop a lens flare through Photoshop, but it kind of, for the black, it kind of came out a little weird looking and I, I didn't really like it. So here I'm kind of just making my own. I did merge all the Darksaber layers that I made and at the end, it kind of looked like it was a little small. And so I just highlighted it here and I did Command T um, just to transform and kind of stretch it and make it bigger. And, you know, once again, this is preference. Obviously, you don't want it too big. And and I've seen somewhere it does look kind of small, almost like a dagger, but I just wanted to make it a little bigger. And if you don't have the lightning bolt brushes or you don't want to download or whatever, uh, here I was experimenting with like painting some and so I made a new layer I have a soft white brush very thin and I'm kind of just painting some random lines I mean you can do a better design than that I just wanted to show that it is possible it's at a 40% opacity and I'm just kind of painting whatever lines on there so even if you don't have lightning bolts you can still kind of do your own little design or you can add smoke into that black However you want, like, uh, you know, creativity is all yours. I feel like I'll still tweak this later on as I experiment with more designs. But for now, I am happy with this. And I know a lot of you liked it. So hope it helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.